The latest Democrat to join the 2020 race is Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan. Here's what he had to say to me about the state of his party just over a year ago. Democrats, I think we have ideas, but sometimes we can't come off as hostile to free enterprise, mm -hmm. hostile to business. Mm -hmm. The government can't hire everybody, so we need private sector investment. Mm -hmm. So the truth is, I really like Tim Ryan, so that pretty much guarantees that he won't get the nomination, probably won't get anywhere in this race. Chris, what do you make of this announcement? I, I think uh, he might be better served to buy a Powerball ticket. Uh, he has a much <laughs> higher chance of winning next week when they pull the little balls out than of going any place, uh, any place in the Democrat primary. He, I don't think he could even be, be Kirsten yes. Gillibrand in the polls. He's way too reasonable. All right, but of course the real story this week. Um, well, it was creepy Uncle Joe week, wasn't it? And that, of course, was noted by SNL last night. Let's take a quick look. Joe is about all the touchy-feely stuff. Yeah, Ooh. if you're if you're really gonna run in 2020, you have to change the way you interact with women. I'm a hugger, I'm a kisser, and I'm a little bit of a sniffer. Okay, <laughs> but the last thing I ever want to do is offend anyone. All right, so Tessa, you got there's a, the, this whole thing was got, it was Lucy Flores who got this going, who's also been a guest on this show. You, there's some history there with you and Lucy Flores. Tell us about oh, it. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, Lucy's someone that has a history of retaliation. Uh, she's retaliated against me and others. Uh, she's very strategic with picking the right time. So let's just do, for those who yeah. haven't it, she was the one that got it going by making the, the allegation about... Uh, Biden sniffing her hair. Correct. Right. She was the one, even though there's plenty of video footage with her also kissing on uh, Joe as well and hugging on Joe and pictures behind Joe. So uh, she strategically picked uh, the, the perfect time for her to uh, push her political ambitions and try to basically, I believe, destroy a man who's dedicated his life to service. Now, again, I don't know. I'm not saying that she didn't feel uncomfortable and I'm not, um, you know, trying to minimize that or other women's story. What I'm saying is this particular individual uh, strategically did this uh, to target him to lift her profile and she's done it several different times uh, her career but no one questions that you know if you come out and say oh me too no one questions that no one gets into the mm -hmm. evidence no one says you know what actually happened there's no testimony you just kind of run with it and go and she does that very well and I think the media uh, is doing a real injustice by not looking into absolutely. her absolutely I think I think as a woman you know I mean the the way the me too movement has evolved it's really disheartening and especially for men too because in real cases where where there's real victims, where there's real tragedies. It's really difficult to decipher that in the media when it's being thrown around as a political football, and especially the way it okay. appeared to be done by her. Mm -hmm. Quick last thought, Chris. Yeah, this is the way mob violence always works, which is what this has devolved into, which is why any, everybody's afraid to say anything. I mean, Teslin's point is people don't look because they think, mm -hmm. well, if, hold on, if I say something, am I next? And this uh, has created this climate of fear of people just pursuing the truth, which I know is an old-fashioned concept, but I think it would be a good idea if we actually tried to do that. Well, it's a beautiful way of setting up something where I, I keep teasing this because I'm so excited about it. We're going to be pursuing the truth about... Joe Biden. I'm not going to use creepy Uncle Joe anymore, even though I like saying it, because we're going to be getting to the substance, the real reasons why he shouldn't be president in a very, very special swamp watch we've been working on, and that is going to be coming up, I'll just say, in the next few weeks. Stay tuned for that. I think you're all going to enjoy it.